it's time for sweet potatoes again. Hey guys, this is Megan from You Go To Be Kidding. This week we're out in the garden. We're gonna harvest some stuff, even though it's the end of October. We have sweet potatoes, we have green beans, we still have bell peppers, and I think the girls are gonna help me get some flowers too. So we're out here in the garden, and we're just gonna show you harvesting some of the last crops of the year. Um, it's just really exciting. This is really fun. I didn't expect to have stuff, uh, but the sweet potatoes, it's always this time of year. So uh, it's always a fun surprise, like a treasure hunt, finding out how many are under the ground. And uh, we'll see together how many we got this year. Yep, that one's big enough. Oh, there's an orange one, Mama, right, right here. Yep, we're yeah. gonna get these. So we're grabbing the peppers first, and then I think we're gonna grab some green beans. There's a big one. Oh, that's fine. That one was probably a little small. It's hard to know when the, I, I don't pay very good attention to the weather. It's hard to know when the frost will actually come kill them, so I do wanna get them. And then probably one more big one, right? At, no, up, right up there. Yeah, let's grab that one. And then I think we can leave some of those be, but there's some on this plant here. There's like one turning orange. Right there. And then there's another one turning red, kind of up there. Yes. Is there a big one there? Yeah, let's pull that one too. I'd rather have them even if they're little. Uh, and this one here on the end too. Let's get that one. Look at how pretty, this is a sassafras tree in our garden. We leave it because it attracted all the Asian beetles and saved our plants last year. And technically, uh, maybe someday I would try to make root beer, but look at how pretty the leaves are right now. We've got reds and greens and yellows. That's really pretty. All right, time for green beans. Yeah, yeah it's been a while since we've been out here. Nice, awesome, yes. Um, so let's totally uncover it. Could make a basket with these? A basket? No, I think it would just rot. It, they might break. Yeah. Let's uncover. Look at these. Tennessee's weird. It's the end of October. And <laughs> I've got awesome green beans. So, yeah, start at one end. And like you have to very carefully go through the whole plant. Ooh, if they're not, I think you just pulled off one that was not very thick. That one is, yeah, but the last one you pulled off. Yeah, that, well. This is the smallest one. Okay. ton but definitely some and it's pretty cool to get some we obviously let some go too long and we do have lots of little ones still on the plants but hey yay for green beans we still haven't gotten to our sweet potatoes they are not harvested yet they're back here and um, we have had some light frost so I know that's damaging the greens and it could potentially cause the ones in the ground to rot but it has not been wet here it actually rained a tiny bit today praise the Lord uh, so we got a little bit of rain Anyway, uh, the girls and I are gonna get these out of the ground. I have no idea how well they did. Um, this has been a weird year for things that have traditionally done well. So uh, we're gonna pull up these sweet potatoes and see what we've got. <laughs> so they are definitely coming out underwhelming, but we do have a few plants that grew pretty big. I think just the lack of water, I did not come out and intentionally water these. And I think that is definitely playing a huge factor in the size and quantity of our sweet potatoes this year. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Hey, that's a real size one. Yeah, I thought we were getting to this bigger plant. So hopefully we've got, did you find a couple good ones? Oh, no, nope, that's a weed. Yay, 
These are some real size. And I actually appreciate that they're not as giant. Ooh. Oh, careful with that Tatsoi plant, Ellie. I, I want that. I want you to kill that one if you can. All right, Esther's gonna come start on this side. Let's see if we can find one. So you can pull the vines up, try to get them out of there. Okay. So st come back here then and find like this one here. I don't even know where they go. All right, so Esther's starting over here. Pull, yeah, just pull the vines back. I think the first one's gonna be right in here. That. So maybe try to pull up the vine and then we'll dig below it. Yep, just pull. Rip it out of there. Yeah, and then I'm hoping there'll be some more in the ground. Awesome, now, now pull the, hold on, pull the full vine out of your way. Grab the root part, this part right here. Grab that and pull that back. Pull it this way. Pull it out of the trellis. I don't think the trellis. Oh, out of the garden. Put it over here. Excellent. Yep. We can. Okay. And then now we've got to check in the dirt. Yes. Let me get this out of your way. I think you can use your fingers. Keep going. Wiggle some. Get the other ones out next to it. Nice. They might there you get go. A bigger one. Yeah, these are looking pretty good. <laughs> okay, here, just just wipe it away from the top, sweetie. and then try to wiggle. You got that one? Yep. Nice. Ooh, it broke off, so there's more down in there. But that's okay. Yeah, get off um, that's bad. No, it's all right. Okay. Just wiggle around them. Like this, you should be able to wiggle that. Yeah, try to wiggle it. They're all right. so big. So wiggle. That's pretty awesome, huh? Okay, wiggle this other one. There we go. I wonder if there's more down in there. All right, I think you might need to go find a shovel. Dig down there. Mm -hmm. No, if it's blushed at all, it's good to take. Yep. Oh, and they're hiding under here. Yep. There's some over here too. A whole bunch. Ooh, Caleb, will you get a basket so I can pick and put them in it? Look at all these. We are all done harvesting our garden stuff and we actually have quite the haul. So we have a basket of tomatoes. We have a handful of green beans. We have quite a few peppers, both bell peppers and jalapenos. Um, and this is awesome. This is all stuff, it's kind of a double-edged sword. I'm totally ready for the garden to be done, but I am so thankful for all of the produce that is coming, even though I have been neglecting it. And so I do want to uh, try to be diligent in these last few weeks and make sure that I harvest what I can and get it preserved and taken care of. Um, and then I also have a bucket of sweet potatoes. It was not a great performance, but we got some. Uh, I'll turn the camera around and show you. Let's, well, maybe I can do it this way. So this is a five gallon bucket and it is only about half full. We did get some pretty decent ones, look at those, um, but most of them are smaller or medium. And honestly, they're probably a little bit easier to use when they're a little bit smaller. In the past, we've gotten a lot of the big ones. I don't know. Either way, I am thankful for food, thankful for things that grow here, and uh, 
I'm just, you know, thankful for the garden. I'm tired. It's the end of the season. I'm ready to be done. But I, I'm so thankful that stuff grows here. So, um, yeah, gardening is not as hard as some people would make it out to be. Uh, sometimes gardening specific things like cucumbers for us this year uh, does not go well. But if you are willing to be flexible and try again, uh, something will grow. So, so uh, anyway, I hope that is encouraging. It is uh, just about the end of the season. We're wrapping things up. But uh, yeah, I hope you have a great week and we'll see you next week.